Christos Anesti. Christos Anesti. Messiah Hukam. Christ is risen. Truly is risen. Kurdistan, I want to tell you. We made it, right? We made it. This last week and the entire um, Lent, we have been speaking about the pride, about many, many um, things. And um, in the Passion Week, we, we, we had a lot of um, inspiring sermons and talks. Um, yesterday, on Good Friday, um, we talked about how Christ is, um, can take and, and can receive all our suffering. And today is the day that the Lord has made, and every day is a kind of resurrection. When we wake up in the morning, we have a new day, a new breath. It is a resurrection. Um, and it is not only the present resurrection, but also we look for the final re um, resurrection. In the creed, at the end of the creed, we say, we look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. We are looking for this every, every day. This is our hope. And this is our future, but it is a different kind of future. The future when we will be home with the Lord. The future that we experienced last night, for those of, of you who came um, midnight and, and stayed all the way in the morning, uh, we read the book of Revelation and at the end, and I would encourage you to read that chapters 21 and 22, the last two chapters of Revelation. We read, we experienced how to pass from death to life. Yesterday, uh, from midnight all the way until um, dawn, we experienced this transition. Good Friday, the burial, death, darkness all around, and then little by little, we passed from death to life. And we read in the book of uh, Revelation about our future. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. This is our hope. Our future is not a better earth here, but our future is a new earth, a new heaven. For the first heaven and the first earth have passed away and there was no longer any sea. I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride, beautifully dressed for her husband. This is our home, our home, our heaven in Jerusalem. And I heard the loud voice from the throne saying, Lord, look, God's dwelling place is now among the people. He will dwell with them. They will be his people and God himself will be with them and be their God. Now we are taking glimpses from eternity, but then we will have the full understanding. Here we live by faith, but then we'll see and we'll have our sight. The beautiful thing about the resurrection is that we can say, Amen, Come soon, O Lord Jesus. Think about it. The Lord, when He comes sooner or later, it means that this world would end or we will die. And most of us would fear the moment of death. Most of us, they want to take hold of this world. But with Christ's resurrection, we actually can't wait, and we are praying, Amen, come Lord Jesus. And this is one of the joys of resurrection, and I hope that we will have this as one of our prayers, because we don't fear death. Even our present suffering is not measured to the amount of glory we will be. So let's look forward, live our future here on this earth, and can't wait to be reunited with our Lord and tell Him, Amen, come soon, come quickly, Lord Jesus.
This is the joy and this is the hope. To him all glory forever. Amen.